All right. Wow, that was fast. Um, I was not actually expecting to... I just got expert running. There was like six people and all of a sudden, boom, there was eight. Hello, everyone. I'm Crota. I will be... You'll, you'll be probably working alongside me today as I do some drafting. Shackles of Malice, definitely a rare I can pass up. Um, be Lasgar's Bloodsworn and or Zentoth's Zealot. Both of them are extremely, extremely strong cards and to use. Um, don't know which one I want to run yet. Uh, Ruby, Ruby Blood, very strong, but also Ruby Sapphire um, can be very, very strong as well. That's why I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm gonna go with the Zealot because too many archetypes use Ruby, and I don't want to pigeonhole myself already in terms of what I'm going for. I uh, hope I get a lot of flight cadets. I hope I get a lot of flight in general um, to get this all to work out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, eagle eye viewers will be noticing I'm wearing my razor, my razor jacket. Ah! ah! I should have gone blood sworn. All right, well, now I'm, now I'm down both. If I got two blood sworns, that would have been awesome. Wow. Oh. A two drop three three? No, two two drop three threes. Uh, yeah, um, extremely, extremely strong. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the blood swarms. Well, I, I cannot pass two blood swarms. That, that's something I definitely, definitely cannot do. Um, but what does, this does allow me to do is take, um, go invest heavily into blood this particular draft and then try and branch out from there. Um, Dread Factory, uh, not not that great. I'll probably go with the Dustwing, Dustwing Maiden. And what I really like about Blood in general is in this archetype, because of the Rage Champion, any sort of evasion, um, evasion is extremely, extremely useful. Um, I, I will need to throw in some removal as well. And generally, Ruby Blood is better on the removal in 555. We'll see what goes from there. Um... If anyone is, if anyone is wondering, like my, why I even reference my razor jacket, um, long, long, long time subscribers will know at one point I was part of Team Quantic, and I was semi-sponsored by Razor as well. Um, I have a Steel Series mouse because they never give me a, a mouse, but I did, I get did some jackets, some RAM from HyperX. Thank you, Kingston HyperX. Never got to use it in a build and I lost my sponsorship by the time I tried to build another computer. Uh, I do have a very nice mouse pad though. Extremely, extremely nice mouse pad. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to grab the Dread Botanist here because of Scrounge. Uh, people, or a lot of you guys know that Blood does have a lot of Scrounge units. And this is this is just start to like put presence on the board, um, forces removal to be lost. Works very well with the Bloodsworn because you can attack with your Dreadling, and then sacrifice the Dreadling, or not, not even attack with the Dreadling, just sacrifice the Dreadling to the Bloodsworn, and give it Rage One instead. It, it also works really well, really well with Assault, which I know a lot of Ruby cards have Assault, Fire in the Hole. Ayotashi, uh, the Ayotashi Brute, um, things of that nature. Very, very good if you can lower the cost of that particular card. Um, one of the reasons why Blood, well, no, Blood, Blood Diamond is strong just because of the Twilight. All right, let's take a look at what's happening here. Um, I think I will be going for the Blackfire Sorcerer here. Um, not that much. Not that much ru well, there is some ruby here, the Surly Brawler, the Brute Town Bruiser, but nothing in here that's really like, yeah, I gotta definitely take that. Um, yeah, there's there's that Black Fire Sorcerer. Um, also, Eagle Eye viewers will notice that I did not draft that Shackles of Malice. No, I was not rare drafting. Um, I'm, I actually care about my rank right now, so even though I, even though draft is like, hey, I can get some extra good rares. The only time I am going to rare draft is if I think that particular rare, I either need it for my collection, which I've fleshed out much of my collection, or if I think that that rare is just too powerful to pass up. Um, 
if I if I have blood blood ruby and a might singer, you know, that gets pa uh, get I open up a might singer, I'm obviously going to still uh, use that might singer. Uh, ooh, ooh. I really t wish I took the Bloodsworn right now. Do I want the Ashwood Transmuter or do I want the Mortar Take Driver? Mortar Take Driver is better at rushing. Ashwood Transmuter is better at long game as it, it can transform a shard into something useful. Um, both of these, I do not want the, the Death Dealer. I'm not really going to be strong enough. I think I'm going to take the mortar, mortar trike driver there. All right. Let's see. I have an intimidating display. Okay, so I'm going to move the zealot for now. Um, it looks like I should have really gone blood ruby. Um, I'm, I'm probably... If the person to the left of me did draft blood ruby, I'm going to be in trouble because I'm not going to get that much blood ruby coming back the other way. Um, a trash moot can be a good sideboard card. Intimidating display um, can be a good sideboard card as well. Crackling torment. I'll, I'll take the intimidating display. I think that's the best card in this situation. Not great, but it can it can win you games um, in the right situation here. Um, Bleak blade twister always a card you have to be on the lookout for in this particular in this particular format uh, many times you'll block a dreadling and all of, and then the bleak blade twister will be like ha ha removal two for one and, and that's really what you're looking for in in a lot of this game just card advantage it's not really a bomb um my the bombs are so far black fire source were uh mortar take mortar trike driver duskwing maiden lasgar's blood Swing. those are all fairly strong cards um, I didn't see a Mama Yeti, and if I do see a Mama Yeti, I'll, I'll be looking for a Baby Yeti as well. And we'll see how things go there. Wow! Another Mortar? Wow, this this is a very, very good ninth pick. Um, spoil would be great as well, but I'm hoping that... Yeah, um, yeah that, that, that's really good. Um, haunting cry for for some draw if necessary. That, that can work, especially with the dread buttonness. Uh, I like it more than the intimidating d display at the very least. Uh. Mm. Uh, a little bit of fixing is always nice. Would transmitter got passed to me at this late that okay wow that okay i need to rearrange that um it's because the zentot zealot needs to go out and the dusk maiden needs to go in and now my curve is a little bit better all right i'm okay this uh crackling tide goodness misery Chances of me actually using a misery are quite low. Uh, Hunting cry, stinkhorn, hailhawk, upgrade technician. Uh, I'm afraid of upgrade technician. And if all of a sudden I get like some bomb, bomb, sapphire drop, I can I can kind of switch. I I could switch 
to Sapphire if necessary. I would lose one, two, three, four, five, five cards. What am I gonna open up? Yes! Gah! I definitely needed this. I think this is my second one. Do I switch? No, I don't switch. Yeah, no, no question about that. If I get a Twilight uh, Revenant passed to me right now, then I do switch. You're just like, okay. Um, the the universe is definitely telling me to, to go for a different route. And I even have the staunch ethereal list as well. I am all over the place, actually. My, my draft is... I mean, I don't think any viewer is going to be like, no, you should have grabbed... Are you kidding me? I guess that's one of the good things about drafting 17 card packs. You you have options to change all of a sudden because you have that many cards. Those those six extra cards make a tremendous difference. Something that was a last pick for me or second to last pick may actually end up going in my deck. Uh, removal is scarce right now. Um, Taste could be made for Drain Soul, Dread Botanist, or Taste for Blood. I do not have any removal right now except for the glory. Do I go Hilltop Monastery? I think I do in this case. Do I go Crackling Blast? No, go hilltop. This is... That's an easy call there. I've been looking for scrounge... Uh, scrounge blood troops.
I want I want some more dread buttonness. I I want some more blood or diamond cards. I'm just Mummify. Forlorn Soldier. Bastion of the Necropolis. Bastion might come back around. Lamify removal. I only have one one drop and one two drop. Everything else is three or higher. That means coin flip is going to be more important to me. I need to I need to get more two drops in order to have that early game presence. Um, and this is not the pack that I'm going to do it in. I need to see if I can get dusk wings. cards now. This is even that good because I don't have that many. Well, I am low on cards. And I am extremely low. See, I, I kind of thought that Sapphire might have been uh, a good way to go. But when you open up an Elder Thrawn's Glory and then follow it up with a Twilight Revenant, it's, it's very difficult to try and go anywhere else. Strike. <laughs> this is a horrible draft. Absolutely horrible. I need to. F I need troops. I need lots and lots of troops. Well, I can I can hope for the best here. Come on, another twilight. Duskwing, a twilight, something, something useful. Oh, yay, thank you. That was a gift. That was a gift. How many? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess I'm not that bad on. I'm not nearly as bad as I thought I was on. on troops. Yeah, no, Dingle is trash. Ardent Officer is good, but I am obviously not in that. It looks like it's going to be that. That actually dots a lot of eyes and dots a lot of eyes that I need to flesh out my deck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13. This doesn't look that bad. Now, if I can get another Dread bot Botanist, that would be great. Um, another Twilight would, would absolutely be amazing. But since, considering I didn't get any past, or, past to me the first time around, I don't think any are going to get past to me the second time around. I only have I only have one rare in this. Yeah, I only have I only have well, I don't even have a rare. I have a well, legendary, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. I would love to get a Bastion, but I, the Dread Botanist. And then maybe the Blight Reaver will come back around. And this is a really good pack. A lava, sh a lava Shaper? Are you kidding me? I was even thinking about Lava Shaper, like, what happens if I went Blood, Blood, Ruby? My packs are all mixed up. It works very well with the Dread Botanist and my charge power. I can give him Life Drain unblockable every turn. Also, um... Well, I wish Twilight wasn't Flight. If Twilight wasn't Flight, the Koru Infiltrator would be significantly better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, I drain soul, lamify, casualty of war, indomitable will. Okay, okay, this is. I I definitely have some tier one bombs that can change the state of the game. I want a second Cruel Venom Blade. And this deck is fleshing out quite quite nicely. I still need some good.
Oh. Oh. Taste for blood. Another wind condition. Or a bastion. Or a duskwing maiden. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. One, yeah. So it's this one, this one, or this one. Bastion has a chance of coming back around. No chance for Duskwing. And of course, this pack has absolutely nothing I want. So right now, I'm looking at the staunch etherealists and figuring out if if they're even worth it right now. That's why I grabbed the Dead Eye Charger. If I can't get the ardent um, ardent allegiance to proc enough, because right now I only have four ardent troops. If I can't get it to proc enough, then it it goes from being a great drop to or a very efficient drop to a very inefficient drop. Um, the flight might be helpful, but I'm really looking to see if I can if I can add another ardent, tr another two or three ardent troops, into this. And right now, I'm not I'm not seeing those cards. It's looking like more and more like blood, blood ruby would have been really, really strong. In terms of just the overall draft pool, the quality of the cards coming around. I'm thinking back to the to the pick where I had a choice between a cruel venom blade or a third black fire sorcerer. I'm I'm wondering if the black fire sorcerer would have been the better pick there now. Fire Sorcerer did come back around. Wow. So three Black Fire Sorcerers, two Cruel Venom Blades. Interesting, interesting.
Wait, I'm, I'm high on troops now? I have 19 troops. Wow. I have one drain soul, one llamafy, one haunting cry, one casualty of war. Okay, I need to re I need to reshape that. That's way too many way too many troops now and not enough everything else. Uh, the forlorn soldier uh, can probably go out not not as helpful as I want it to be. Tinkertron, I do not... I don't think I need the Tinkertron anymore. Taken Wing and Llamafy? I think this is it. I, I think this is this is the deck. Gorn still very strong. Didn't get a spoil, which does spoil some things for me. One, two, three, four, five. No other. Well, I'll, I'll have to make do with five. All right, like I'll have to make do with five. I do have a haunting cry in there. Do I want to? I might want to put in an altar of Nalzun instead. Yeah, I can do that. I do have three Blackfire Sorcerers, that's why. All right. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.